Which is better, to walk or run in the rain? In this video we train an AI to help us answer this age-old question. So let's get right into it. Although there have been many attempts in the past to resolve this debate once and for all, we still don't have a definitive answer. But don't worry, when humans fail to give an answer, there is always AI. Before we create our AI, we first need to take a look at what others have to say about this query. After extensive research, I found out that in general, the studies and experiments conducted are almost evenly split between supporters of walking in the rain and supporters of running in the rain. For example, Mythbusters have shown experimentally that walking in the rain is a better option than running. Many physics, on the other hand, have shown mathematically that running is the best way to go. Professor Franco Pocci, who is one of the many physicists that attempted to answer this question, claims that the topic is much more complicated than it seems. Quote, If you are really thin, it's more probable that there will be an optimal speed. Otherwise, it's better to run fast. End quote. In other words, if you're a little bit chubby, you better run. Of course, we're going to test that theory as well. Let's begin by setting up our environment. First, we need a platform of finite distance for the AI to train on. Then, we need to introduce simulated rain into our environment. I found a great asset online which simulates rain in a very realistic manner. It includes rain intensity, wind speed and direction, random changes and more. And of course, we need to add our agent, the AI who is going to do the training. In order to monitor the training and decision making process, we will keep track of three different metrics. The number of trials, which tells us how long it takes for the AI to train. The wetness level, which lets us know how wet the agent was by the end of each trial. And the walk-run ratio which shows the choices made by the AI between walking and running each time it had to make a decision throughout the duration of the simulation. The goal we have set for the AI is to learn how to reduce its wetness level by the end of each trial. When the AI reaches its optimal performance by these simulation standards, we will take a look at its walk-run strategy. Hopefully, this will encapsulate the answer to whether it's better to run or walk in the rain. Spoiler alert, it does. During the training simulations, the AI switches between walking and raining multiple times within each trial. Every few steps, it has to make a decision whether to continue walking or running based only on three observations. The remaining distance to the end, the walk rate so far, and the run rate so far. We keep track of its choices and reward the AI twice, halfway through and at the end of the platform, based on its current wetness level. Specifically, we reward the AI based on the following formula. This gives us the ability to reward the AI when it reduces its wetness level from previous trials and give it a penalty when it doesn't do so. What makes this formula great is its dynamic nature, which allows for properly scaling the reward or penalty with each trial and enables the AI to gradually increase its performance and therefore learn to become less wet with time. Alright, ready for the simulation? Here we go! If you are really careful, you can see the AI switch in between walking and running every few steps. The switch will become more clear as it continues to learn. At the top left, you can see the number of trials so far. Below that, you can see the decisions made by the AI through the walk and run rates. At the top right, you can see how the wetness level changes with each trial. The bottom number at the y-axis denotes the minimum wetness level the AI managed to achieve so far. Keep an eye for these changes to understand how the AI learns over time. So far, the AI slightly favors walking over running. Let's speed things up a bit and see what happens next.
After around 150,000 training steps, which correspond to a little over 300 trials, the AI seems to have stabilized. The cumulative reward and the entropy over time confirm that the AI has indeed reached a relatively stable state. Looking at the graphs, it is clear that it managed to reach an optimal wetness level for the current simulation. In this context, 90% of the time, the AI has chosen to run instead of walk. Therefore, we could argue that the answer to our initial query is quite clear. According to artificial intelligence, it is better to run rather than walk in the rain. There you have it. Now, let's not stop here. We still have to test another theory, remember? If you have a little extra weight, then you should definitely run when you are in the rain. We are going to test this theory by increasing the interface of our agent. Theoretically, this will increase how wet our agent gets when in the rain compared to the previous simulation. My hypothesis is that if the theory is correct, the AI should learn faster than the previous agent and therefore switch to running over walking a lot quicker. Ok, here we go. Okay, let's stop. There is no need to go any further. It seems that the AI has indeed learned to decrease its wetness level a lot faster than before. As you can see, the wetness level drops very fast and the AI switches to running over walking relatively early. It takes less than 260 trials and around 120,000 training steps for the AI to stabilize. The cumulative reward and the entropy over time confirm our findings. Is this evidence that you should definitely run when you have a little extra weight? I don't know, probably. Our artificial intelligence though will most likely advise you to run, or at the very least, use an umbrella. There you have it, another question has been answered using artificial intelligence. Please like this video and subscribe if you find this concept interesting. If you have a question that needs to be answered using AI, you can leave a comment below and be responsible for the next video. 
Thank you for watching and okay, bye.